Hi, Audrey Christie with AudreyChristie.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about sunscreen. Yes, sunscreen. Um, also known recently as toxic death screen. <laughs> well, here's the cool thing. It's toxic and deadly if you don't protect yourself from the dangerous rays of the sun. But I encourage you not to use toxic death cream to do it. So here's what we're going to talk about. Let's start with the sun. It's summertime, and usually by now we're enjoying um, long days on the lake, um, paddleboarding and kayaking and riding around in our boat. But for the second year in a row here where I live in sunny slash rainy flooded Texas, it's been two things this summer, wet and flooded or rainy and flooded. So that means we probably won't be able to get our boat on the lake again for a second year in a row. And although we have done some kayaking, paddle boarding is probably out of the question. But we're still out in the sun for summer softball and we're still um, enjoying, you know, being outdoors and enjoying our neighbor's pools. We don't have a pool. <laughs> and enjoying our community pool at the country club. So, um... Yeah, we still need sun protection. We still have to figure out what to do with our fair complected selves to make sure that we're not putting ourselves unnecessarily at risk at for the harm that, um, you know, spending too much time in the sun can do. So that begs the question, what is a crunchy mom to do? Well, those who don't know me, I'm a registered nurse, certified clinical master of aromatherapy, student of homeopathy, as well as Reiki master ripple magic facilitator, medical intuitive, and are you ready? Are you ready? I think that's it. I may have missed something. <laughs> but I have a whole lot of initials behind my name um, because I'm really passionate about natural and holistic ways. But here's the kicker. Like you can find natural and holistic stuff all over the place, right? But I want to do stuff that's easy, that's simple. Set it and forget it. Ron Popeil style stuff. Because if we don't, then we don't stick to it. And we end up being the crazy lady, crazy blogger who writes a post about guilt over sunscreen. Okay? So... What is someone to do? So this is part one. We're going to talk about what grown-ups do for part one. Part two, we're going to talk about what to do with the wee little children's. And then part three, we're going to talk about, oops, I accidentally got sunburned. Um, so here's the deal. The sun is the worst from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And this isn't new knowledge, folks. Like my parents told me this when I was a kid. Um, this has been around for a while. Everyone knows the sun, you're at the highest risk to get sunburned from 11 a.m., to 3 p.m. in your local time zone. Now, there are some variations to that. If you live in a super high altitude place, sometimes you can get burned before and after that. But generally, 11 to 3 has you covered. So what does that mean? That means before 11 a.m. is when you want to do your yard work, your outdoor workouts, jogging, um, I like to ride a bike, kayaking, paddleboarding, swimming. Also, you want to do that after 3 p.m. Um, because those are safe times. So what does that look like? You get up in the morning, you do all your outdoor chores, you do all your working out, you come in or find a shady spot from 11 to 3, uh, come in and enjoy lunch, maybe that's when you go to the grocery store, um, that's when you come in and take a break from the heat and get hydrated, and then after 3 o'clock, you head back out. Um, so for us, a lot of times we go to the pool at 2.30, we'll leave for the pool at 2.30, it takes us about 20 minutes to get there, by the time we get there, we're good to go, we can swim till 8 o'clock. Or used to be at the lake, we'd leave at 3 and then swim till 8 o'clock or dark and not get burned. We just get nicely tanned because you're missing the direct sun, the rays of the sun. Now, adults in our house take three supplements to make sure that we're doing the best we can. Two of them we take during the summer. We take three year-round. One is astaxanthin, and I'm, I always butcher that name, so please follow the link below and you can read it for yourself. It's a long word with a lot of consonants. Um... And you guys might hear kids playing in the background because uh, it's summertime. <laughs> so um, also the second thing we take is omega-3s. And don't follow the instructions on the bottle. Take more than that. Take at least double the dose of the instructions on the bottle if you're a full-grown adult um, to get the maximum benefit. And then the third thing, the thing we take only during the winter is vitamin D because I get plenty of vitamin D um, during the summer. Now, if you work in an office from sun up to sundown, take your vitamin D year-round. It really helps with your immune system. Um, and then, oh, I forgot to talk about the sun. Is it good or bad? Well, clearly you know by now because I forgot to talk about it, but I think the sun is good. And it's good for a number of reasons. Um, there's sciencey reasons, and then there's like energetic reasons it's good. So science, it uh, helps your body 
create and absorb vitamin D science. It improves and um, energizes your immune system. Cool. And then energetically, uh, the sun provides prana or life energy, right? So without it, you don't live, <laughs> you die. <laughs> Um, and that's very literal. Um, the sun is also the color of the um, sacral and solar plexus chakra. So very good for awakening and balancing those areas. And if you want to know more about the science behind the chakras and how it's linked to your physical body and some easy ways to heal it, there's a free option on my website somewhere. The link will be below. Um, a free option on my website to take the mini chakra healing class where you just learn to do some chakra healing and balancing and tweaking with stuff you have around the house. No treks to anywhere, no Amazon orders, totally free, totally free to use. So definitely check that out. And then if you decide you want to take it further, and I've gone way off in the sidebar now, you can enroll next enrollment, go around in my certified chakra healing specialist course and learn how to heal chakras with all the tools available for you, as well as heal them for other people. So back on track about the sun. We talked about the three supplements, omega-3s, astaxanthin, and vitamin D. Um, and we talked about when to go outside. Now, if you have to be outside between 11 and 3, make it in 30-minute increments with some breaks. Um, if you have to be outside for an extended amount of time, wear sunscreen. Do your best to choose some that is not chemical laden. Um, raw Elements is a good one. It's like a little sunscreen stick for the face, uh, as well as um, the Honest Company. They have some good clean sunscreen, um, or at least on the cleaner end of the spectrum. So go out, enjoy the sun. Come back here next week for part two about the wee little kitties. <laughs> All right. I'm Audrey Christie McLaughlin with AudreyChristie.com. See you later.